Hey, good morning. It's Saturday morning here. And uh, you know what? We're just that nice uh, leisurely or leisurely. I, I've heard different pronunciations of it, but what? Well, he wants some of that that Irish cheddar that uh, our friends Kelly and Brian dropped off for us. A beautiful gift basket. It was just incredible. A bunch of canned goods and I mean, their own canned uh, uh, peppers and pears and, you know, so much work goes into canning. Anybody that's canned, as you know, to give a gift of something you work so hard and canning in the peak of the season when it's the hottest. And uh, this, this Irish cheddar is just unbelievable. So, um, easy. Watch how gentle his bite is now. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he almost, he almost took my finger off. Usually he's all right, but um, we're gonna make a uh, we're gonna make a scrambled eggs and uh, and a scooped Deeks bagel. Rachel, kind enough to share me one of her bagels she picked up, and uh, there's some good bacon. Get that. Let's see. On an egg skillet, it's important. Don't ever, don't ever overheat your skillet because that's how you ruin that uh, the the uh, egg. I mean the uh, finish on the skillet. This is an asagio bagel from Deeks, but we're gonna do a scooped. Uh, I got this trick from my my buddy Bruno uh, from England, so into the toast so this goes sunday sunday bacon it's called yeah thicker a little thicker like almost like an irish bacon nice and thick mm -hmm. so look at it look at these uh little scrawny green uh green onions i can't even believe they'll harvest uh, something like these here but We got some shiitakes. Have some shiitakes. So I want them to be kind of finely diced too. I'll throw them a little bit. That's it, right there, huh, buddy? Okay. Keisha, you don't mind that? No, I don't mind that. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, so then, uh, what'd you say, Lakeisha? You want me to show how to crack an egg one-handed? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think see, that would be nice. See, kind of grab it on both both ends of the egg. Uh -huh. And I always thought cracking on the edge is the better way so you don't get shells in it, but, but I've learned... Somebody's told me over the years, you got to crack it on a flat surface. It's like that. And then you pull apart with these two. See? Mm -hmm. but I used to work, you know, with a pastry chef. He'd make you scoop out the uh, egg whites. <laughs> yeah, he said, like every 10, every 10 eggs, <laughs> would be equivalent to one egg white. Wow. I'll tell you. So you, what would you say? You wanted to learn how to do two at one time? Okay. Huh? I have small hands, so I don't... Know oh, you I can do. have it. Yeah? Yeah. We'll get you those pullet eggs, those small eggs. Mm -hmm. No, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little bit of salt and pepper. You don't want to put salt and pepper in too early because it breaks the eggs down. Salt will make them watery. Uh, you know what? Let's use the Mac Daddy. Okay, okay so it's looking pretty good here. 
Now with scrambled eggs, you want to turn the fire down a little bit. I'll put just a little piece of butter in. I watched a guy on TV or on uh, YouTube at a breakfast uh, place, and I mean it was like painstakingly slow, uh, low heat. And then I uh, will put our uh, cheddar in. Huh? English, I mean uh, Irish cheddar. It's the best, really. I mean. Few of these, uh, the green onions, scallions. Oh, gee. Ah. Ah. Well, you don't believe it? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, horrible acting. Nah, you did for a minute. You did for a minute. Don't lie. Okay. Don't lie. <laughs> or, or don't 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 fib. Lakeisha, Lakeisha doesn't lie. No. <laughs> no. These are gonna be melted. They call these melt in your mouth scrambled eggs. Mm. All right. Yum. Come on, check it out, Lakeisha. Okay. See? Well, we'll be right back. We got to get a dinner plate. Right, Lakeish? Mm hmm. Lakeish Lorraine? Mm hmm. All right. Look at that. That's about there. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Actually, get even a little taste of this. We'll be right back. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Cooked to perfect in temperature. Done this. So. Deeks have a little bit of this chive cheese. So we're gonna put some of that on the bottom. So I know you're all thinking who's gonna get the top, who's gonna get the bottom. But we're gonna we'll split it, right, Lakeisha? That's right. Half and half. Mm -hmm. Of each half. Okay. Now comes the the delicate work. Come in with a small spoon. Okay. Where do you try these eggs here, Lakeisha? Mm. So good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's okay. Watched a good movie last night on YouTube. Gordon Ramsay on the boiling point, it's called. From back in 1999. But shows him raging out, you know. But I guess that's what got him the, uh, You know, the, the show uh, Hell's Kitchen and all that. But uh, didn't, didn't portray him in the best light. But, you know, the kitchen's a very, very stressful. Um, the heat the first night that he opened is 130 degree, 138 degree temperatures in his kitchen. The vent hood went out. And just every day in the restaurant business, you know, What's going to go wrong? It's, you know, you you, it's, it, you got to have a strong mind. And Gordon definitely has a a strong mind. You know, I can see some aspects that he really humiliated a lot of the chefs. But that's kind of how he grew up in the old kitchens. You know, the Europeans, they, uh, they were brutal, you know. But 
for the sake of learning your art, you know, you, you know, you sucked it up. Nowadays, you know, you look at, you know, some sometimes a cook wrong, he'll, he'll take his apron off and walk out. I mean, just, uh, but back then, apprentices didn't have a choice. You know, they were, they signed up for it and their parents, you know, signed off. And it was, it was, it's all based on the military, uh, the brigades in France, you know, all the, you know, the, the really top kitchens were all based on, uh, the, for the hierarchy, the generals, all the way down to the, you know, privates. And, uh, but it was, you know, really interesting, but he was just, uh, so laser focused on, he wanted a three-star Michelin rating, uh, been very successful over the years. And that was 1999. He was on a verge, had borrowed, a, you know, had a million and a half pounds into this restaurant. And now look, he's worth 200 million, but you know, every, all success takes a, at a price. You know, my father always told me there's always a price to pay for success. And I just wish him the best, you know, health wise and life, you know, to achieve. Cause uh, you know, we found out money's not everything, but you know, it's that drive, you know, that keeps us going every day in the, in the hard business, small businesses, the struggles these days. But anyway, our breakfast getting cold. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want, Lakeisha? Well, we're gonna split it, honey. I know, so it but doesn't you matter. want this plate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. You got it. We're gonna settle on over here, and and we'll be back and do a little closing. Come over here. Sit. 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 <laughs> He actually gets his own apron. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's try it out. Mmm. It's like Cowboy Ken does. You go. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Get it. <laughs> get, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, daddy dancing? Yeah. Mm. So you're just trying to cook your eggs on super high heat, you know, and they come together real quick. That was really cool. I did this uh, Sam Meyer CD that I recorded over 20 years, you know, 20, 19 years ago, down in Texas, 19, 20 years ago. <clears throat> We're just kind of getting it out. It's a really good CD. And, uh, you know, uh, recorded Sam with, you know, some of the South Dallas uh, session players. And uh, I sent a sent a copy to our local, you know, co uh, Connecticut College radio station, WCNI. And you can check them out online on Saturdays. I do a real good blues lineup. But through the COVID, you know, they're shut down in the studio, but somehow they're... But Brian, who runs the station, been playing his first time last week, we heard. Mm -hmm. They played a couple of uh, the uh, tunes off of the CD. It was the first time, you know, that I'd, I'd heard uh, the music besides playing it ourselves in the car uh, CD player at home. And uh, it was really cool, really cool to see here. Anyway, this is Dad Jack's Coma of the Blues. Lakeisha, time to you to settle down before your eggs get cold. All right, baby. All right. Love you all. Peace. Oh, this is artichoke asiago. Artichoke asiago cheese. I mean, uh, cheese uh, bagel. Deeks, the best there is. Maybe one day he'll do a mail order.